Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. We're all very used to using SD cards to boot our Raspberry Pis, but on the Raspberry Pi 4 and 5, it's actually very easy to get them to boot from an SSD drive. So doing this will give you a much more reliable and faster disk drive, and that will improve your boot times and also make your disk access much better. Now all you need is an SSD drive and then a SATA to USB 3 converter cable. So the converter cable just plugs into your SSD drive and it turns it into a USB device, which you can then plug into your Raspberry Pi. So let's see how we can get our Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 to boot from a USB SSD drive. So first we need to update the bootloader software on our Raspberry Pi 4. And we do this using a little utility that we load onto an SD card and then run that up in the Raspberry Pi. So make sure you've got a SD card attached to your computer and then boot up your Raspberry Pi imager software. So from the choose device menu, select your Raspberry Pi 4. Then we need to choose an OS. So scroll down a bit until we get to the miscellaneous utilities. So select that, then select bootloader Pi 4. And of course we want to do a USB boot, so select that one. Next we need to select our SD card and then click next. Accept that uh, warning message and that will then burn that onto our SD card. So once that's finished, um, you just need to take the SD card out and pop that into your Raspberry Pi and then just power it on. And what that will do, it will then copy this new bootloader code onto the Raspberry Pi. And you can tell it's finished by the flashing green LED, or if you have it plugged into an HDMI monitor, um, you'll see a green screen. So at this point, we now have a Raspberry Pi that when we turn it on, it will first of all look at any of its USB ports to see if there is a bootable drive attached and then boot from that. If it doesn't find one, then it will fall back to the SD card. So we now need to create our bootable USB drive. So back into our Raspberry Pi Imager software and make sure you've got your SSD drive attached. So we're going to select our Raspberry Pi 4 and just select our normal operating system. And again, just go through the process then of um, flashing that onto the SSD drive. So once that's ready, uh, just make sure your Raspberry Pi is turned off. If you haven't yet taken out the SD card, take that out. Then connect up the SSD drive and then just simply power on your Raspberry Pi. So on the first boot up from an SSD drive, the Raspberry Pi is going to have to do a number of setup procedures. So you will see it rebooting a few times, but eventually it will get everything set up and it will do a final boot then. And that will then take you directly into your Raspberry Pi desktop. So we now have our Raspberry Pi 4 without any SD card booting directly from our SSD straight into our Raspberry Pi operating system. And we can just then confirm that everything is set up correctly by opening up a terminal window and checking our disk drives. And there we can see that our main drive is our full 500 gigabyte SSD. So that's all there is to getting your Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 to boot from USB. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you again very soon, and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.